Dear Sir, my name is David Beckham and I am 18 years old. I am writing to you concerning my occupation as a professional footballer. here today to kick off building a boot together and, and see where it goes. We've walked away from Predator and a lot of people are like, where's it gone? What's, what's going on? It made me actually quite upset because it was it's such a massive part of my history in the game and it's such a massive part of uh, Adidas as well. People talk about my style over the years, but it, it probably began with the Predator boot. You know, we, we kind of we kind of pushed boundaries. I remember there was four or five of the uh, class of 92 lads on a trip in, uh, in Dallas. Gary just produced these pair of predators from nowhere. And it was just one of those moments where I put them on for the first time and I was like, wow, this actually does really work. Predator, such a great name for a boot. We speak to a lot of Predator collectors. The way they talk about your iconic boots as well is really interesting. They associate a boot with a goal, with a, with a David Beckham era. My debut was against uh, Brighton, in Brighton, and I didn't have a boot sponsor. And I wrote this letter to Adidas asking if they could maybe sponsor me or, or send me some boots and send me some gear. It was just me explaining who I was and who I played for and hopefully where I was going to go and the rest is history. So we were thinking What's really important if we're going to build a, a build a boot together, build a range together, is to find something that really expresses what's dead personal to you. That could only really be only really be David's shoe, right? Incredible to see some of your personal boots as well. I mean, maybe you could tell us a bit some of the stories and, and what's the best boot you like playing? This, just because I love the design. Predator accelerators, often number one of best football boots ever. I always loved the stripes and the way it, it just, they stood out on a pitch. It doesn't matter where you were playing, what stadium you were in, these boots stood out always. Looking back and thinking of iconic moments, wearing such an iconic boot, scoring my first goal for England in a World Cup, actually on my mum's birthday, and then obviously winning the Champions League, European Cup in Barcelona. That night was such a special night, but that is one image actually that I've got in my house of my boot on top of the trophy which is slightly disrespectful to the trophy but but you've, you own it then and you've won but, it but we'd won it it was our it was our trophy for the year so once Sir Alex Ferguson let me wear other coloured boots I was never going back to a black boot to be honest it was something that I kind of always went for a brighter colour not because I wanted to stand out on the pitch but because, but because Consciously, every time I looked down or I was receiving the ball or kicking the ball, it, I felt I had more connection. Accelerate is one of the most beautiful products yeah. Adidas ever made. I think it's like, really incredible. And it's just something that I feel that would really work, you know, on the street side, on the on the, obviously the pitch side. I mean, imagine that with with those stripes. Yeah, It'd be so so cool. The idea of football and, and street coming together 15 20 years ago you know it would have been seen as being disrespectful you know but these days you know it's all about combining that you were probably the first player to do that be as well known for on pitch style as on pitch playing style and kind of bringing all of this world of fashion and music and sport and pulling it all together my mum had a washing line outside and uh, I used to take the wooden clips off of it and actually put them on the tongue so the next morning it'd be perfect I actually sewed an elastic on once just to see how, how it worked and, and it did and then obviously the idea was to, to do that on all my boots and it, it kind of worked. The tongue part was an important part back, back in the day but you know times have changed. 
I think talking about the colorways, I would love to do a triple white boot, personally. Just, it's something that I, I, I loved wearing an all white boot. I love wearing kind of a boot that actually, not stood out, but something that actually I felt comfortable in. So a triple white boot for me, I'd love to do that. And then being a Man United fan, you know, red, black and white. Yeah, that's really like the Adidas colorway, the David colorway. Why don't we do, you know, triple white, triple red, triple black. It's the most stylish boot, the colors are great. Red, black and white means everything to me. What do you think? I think it's brilliant. Street, everyone wants an all black. Street shoe. And obviously a, a cage shoe in all, all red would be amazing. And then the boot, triple white, would be so cool. It's beautiful. I want to get started now. I know. <laughs>
that I was not worried about, but I just kind of came into my my mind. From that finish, fully, fully agree. I mean, so we've got actually three or four layers of material. So what we're going to do is we take out the primate in the forefoot, okay. really only um, nail the materials down to wherever it's needed. And that Keep chunk will go from This is going to be gone. What about this? This pulls out here. A little bit too wide. Right, should, we, should we cut something? Yeah. Cut your finger now. That's why you pick the red one. I think that's a good idea, David. Yeah. And David as well, these are, I um, just wanted to show you a couple of options in terms of the logos. For example, we've got uh, this one here, which has got more of a cleaner finish. And then we've got another one here, which is a little bit more angular. Um, and these are then actually inspired by some of your jerseys that you used to wear back in the day. Yeah, the connection to my shirts that I've worn is, I think, is important, because that's what it's all about. And also then linking a little bit to um, the Predator font. To do just a regular number wouldn't be anything special, and I think that... This really goes back to the predator that was on, you know, that boot, and it just it, it takes me back to to how it was kind of written on or stitched on. Yeah. yeah. I mean, all of these details are so great. People really feel like they're getting something that's special. It's perfect because you see the boots that I used to wear, but then obviously with the with with this sock, your present day yeah. modern yeah. shoe, and that's what. And that's what's exciting about it, actually. You've hit it, hit it out of the park, I think. It's the third part of the journey to bring your concept to life. It's a pleasure to show you what a lot of us are excited about. We got these hot off the press from the factory yesterday. A lot of energy and excitement around these, so the stadium part of your journey with us. I love that. It's a beauty, right? The reflective stripes are incredible. Keeping the iconic stitching around the, there is, is, is perfect to be left in. They seem more narrow as well, mm. which I like. Being a boost as well, the lightness is, is incredible. I have a thing called reveal, so when you stretch the collar, yeah. it reveals a, a, a date or a number. I love that detail. It makes it special, it makes it different. Yeah, I mean, I think it brings the, the romance into the product, yeah. right? Gold lace tips on this one, we've got them in there. We've got two different ways of doing the, the prime knit construction in here. Here's very open, this is probably a bit more practical. Definitely makes it different with it being more open. I mean, practicality was never something that I really <laughs> thought about They're throughout my career anyway, <laughs> so there's a naughtiness to this boot. There's something yeah. about this that is actually quite disruptive, so as an air like that. Naughtiness is good. Naughtiness is good. One of the most beautiful shoes we've made. We've showed you the stadium, now we have the cage part. I'm still excited. I am excited. <laughs> actually, I don't even know if I want to give them to you. It's a beauty. Yeah, it's amazing. There you go. The colour's great. It's one-to-one, -one, the Man United red. Make sure that we link it exactly perfect with the kit that's going to be played this season. This has then got the, the more open prime knit right. in here, and then the, the reveal goal, date yeah. and time detail on the on the collar. I mean that's great. Nice to hear. And then finally the third part of the journey. The final piece in the puzzle from stadium to cage to street. I mean they're so cool. I think this guy's a it's a monster. Yeah. <laughs> People are gonna love these shoes. Absolutely. They're so much cleaner and obviously the chunkiness as well is so much better when it's a bit more taken away as well. So we've taken some of the foam out of the toe to kind of make it tighter and flatter in the tone on the last sample. The chunkiness has been taken away. And then we bring the gold lace tips onto all, all three packs. The detail of the gold tips would be, would be amazing. I love the mat as well, I think it's so much better. And this could then be the, the option that we go through with the yeah. reveal collar, date, time. Goals that made a difference. So there's then the triple red box with the bespoke font that we made, bespoke yeah. number, influenced by Pred, white for the white, the blackout. Right. That's good. I, th I think we've never done detailing like this before. I think this is like raising the bar on, on everything else. When so you have a letter, why, when you have, you know, the words around the shoe or whether you, you know, the shoe on the bag, you know, it's something that I think is special. Yeah. To actually see young kids wearing these shoes is going to make me proud because I was I was a part of something that has helped create these shoes, so it's, uh, it'll be special. Without a doubt, it's, it's, just, it's a game changer for me. It's amazing, I wish I was still playing. <laughs>